Welcome to 10 tips for Animal Crossing. Number 1. Fishing. When fishing, the float can only be approached a maximum of 4 times by the fish. So if it has done 3 approaches, then it's 100% guaranteed the next time the fish goes for the float, it will go underwater. So you can be ready to strike. Number 2. Hitting rocks. If you're like me and can be a poor aim at a rock, then I find it easier to choose an axe. Otherwise, you will find you're digging holes next to the rock you are hitting and missing out on the maximum resources. Also, I find it handy to dig a couple of holes behind me to stop me moving backwards. Number three, quick wheel. At the Nook stop, you will be able to buy all kinds of cool stuff with your Nook miles. One of the handiest of things is the quick wheel. Once purchased, you can easily access this by pressing up on the D-pad and selecting the tool you need. If you would rather have something else in there, you can always unfavorite something and choose another item. Number four, running. If you haven't worked this out yet and are still patiently walking around everywhere, holding down B makes you run. Number five, covering holes. If you dig a hole and your shovel breaks, you can recover the hole easily by pressing Y. Number six, slowly walking. Some insects may need the slow approach, otherwise they might fly off. You can do this by holding down the A button and your character will slowly creep towards them. Number seven, donations. If you're like me and love donating everything to the museum, it is much easier to do it now than on the older version of this game where it had to be done one at a time. Also, back then I had to write it all down to save me forgetting what was already donated. Now you can check the Critopedia and donate more than one item at a time. Another little tip, if it's the first time you've caught the fish or the insect, your character will shout yes before he says the name of the critter and the really bad pun. Number eight, branches. If you need branches as a resource, you don't need to keep running to different trees. There's basically an unlimited supply on each, so you can stay at the same tree until you have what you need. Number nine, wasps. If you are needing branches or just shaking trees for the fun, I tend to find it best if you're always holding the net and shake the tree from the front. That way you can get the wasps a lot easier not to worry if you get stung though, as if you do, you can go talk to a resident and they'll give you a recipe for some medicine. Otherwise, if you get stung again before having some medicine, you'll pass out and wake up at your house. Number 10, strength. Eating fruit or Easter eggs until you have 10 strength means you can dig up entire trees and move them wherever you want. You can also break rocks. Obviously, you need them for resources, but it's not a problem as if you do break them, a new one spawns in a random location the next day somewhere on your island. I hope you found some of these tips helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.